How do you guys as players keep the momentum going from last year and all the excitement that that, that was and so many guys from that team are no longer here? How does that kind of continue this season? Right. Um, it's easy to look forward and think about that regional and think about getting back to that regional, that, that regional final where we weren't able to extend our season. But, you know, we can get ahead of ourselves. We coach Bull really emphasizes, you know, one day at a time, one pitch at a time to, you know, be in the moment and not get ahead of ourselves. So, you know, it's easy to bring the momentum into the off season to work hard when you know that's the goal and that's what we want to do and we've experienced that. So once you get a taste of that, you know, it's easy to use that as motivation. But at the same time, you got to be, you know, in the moment. We're not going to make a regional opening weekend, but we can stack them together from the start and that starts in the off season. I feel like we've done a good job of, you know, continuing that momentum into the season and to this point. How about for you personally? What did the off season look like? How did you feel like you're a different or a better pitcher than you were? Right, you know, just being more consistent with my routine and with, you know, my preparation. And um, I didn't play summer ball. I took the summer off, but um, I still feel like I improved a lot going into the fall and, um, you know, making strides as, as a pitcher in general as a whole, you know. Um, Fastball command, Coach Bull touched on, and being able to throw the off speed consistently and then on favorable counts, you know, down in the count, being able to, you know, have all three or four pitches at any given point. So just the consistency aspect of pitching has is, is improved a lot. Concern fastball, slider change? Yeah, so fastball, curveball, slider change, um, kind of two different breaking balls. One's a little harder, you know, one's a little bigger shape and a little slower. So I've, I've worked those together and you know, and improve both of them and um, looking to have them all from opening weekend for sure. Was that change of new for you or was that some of the years you kept on it? Yeah, no, I, I've been working on it for a couple of years. Um, I didn't really have a change up coming in college. You know, I just kind of threw hard and spun it um, coming from the infield. But I've really, you know, tried, tried to improve my change up as, you know, it's the hardest pitch to throw and it's also the hardest pitch to hit. So, you know, it's going to take a while, but it's definitely come a long ways and it's developed into a pitch that feel like I can use effectively, the, you know, the lefties and righties, um, and that, you know, it's only going to play off my fastball and aid the other pitches if I can develop it and throw it in a game, so, you know, that's the goal, and I, I can't be afraid to throw it, you know, throw it whether I have it or not, I feel like it gets better throughout the game, so I'm, I'm excited to get to work with the change up this year, for sure. It's kind of your sense of this pitching staff, it seems like you guys have yeah, for sure. We're going to have a lot of guys step up and, you know, um, give us a lot of big innings that we maybe didn't think uh, we were going to. That just speaks to the talent, you know, top and bottom of our bullpen. And um, I'm real excited to see how it shakes out. You know, we have a lot of arms and, you know, kind of a next up mentality, um, next man up for you know, our whole staff because we have so many guys that have the ability to be great. and. Um, there's not going to be a lot of time to, you know, get into it. The guys know that they're going to have to come in throwing strikes, and I have faith and trust in their ability to do that. And um, yeah, it'll, it'll be exciting for sure to see them come out of the pen. What have you kind of seen? I know Coach Wolf just talked about guys kind of maybe using some different things in the offseason. You know, what have you seen just from when you guys been in small groups and things like that as far as progress for you? Yeah, you know, the competition aspect of us <coughs> being a lot deeper has really pushed pushed us. So. You know, a lot in years past that, that I've been here anyway, this is the most competitive fall and the most competitive off season. So you, knowing that there's a guy that's working for your spot and it's coming right behind you, that only pushes us, you know, as a whole and makes us all better. So seeing that um, that preparation and that work in the off season is definitely um, improved and we've pushed, done a good job of pushing each other to you know, be better and make strikes. You know, and we do that as an individual, you know, Put it together as a team. We're gonna do good things. See, is your arm in pretty good shape? And what do you do, I guess, in the off season to make sure that you know, you're in the right spot as the season approaches? Right. You know, it's kind of a happy medium between resting and you know working out. So I feel like I did did a good job of you know giving it that time to rest and slowly building into it. So my arm feels really good right now. Um, I threw like three innings yesterday. And I feel good today, you know, just going to keep stacking it next week, add another inning and slowly build up to the season. So I feel like I'm in a really good place. And I feel like as a team, we're in a really good place, too. A lot of guys are healthy. We're, we've knocked on wood, but we've kind of avoided a lot of injuries, which is in getting guys back, which is really good. So I'm excited about, you know, where we're at for sure.
that there are a lot of guys on this team that have played a full college baseball season. You're, you're one of just a handful. Like, what do you tell them? Go into playing a full season. The challenges, just things you have to do differently. Maybe when you're playing midweek too. Yeah, you know, it just comes back to that consistent consistency aspect. We can't, you know, get down and we just got to have a short memory and flush the previous weekend. And we can't get ahead to the next weekend. You know, we have that midweek too. It's it feels like forever since we've had midweeks. You know, and we just gotta stay on the guys and stick together and move on and not, you know, dwell on a bad weekend and carry that into the Tuesday. We really got to do a good job of just moving forward and one day at a time, one pitch at a time. <clears throat> uh, Friday night rule is open. Um, I mean, is that kind of something you've got your eye on and wanted to take that role? Yeah, for sure. That's a, that's a goal of mine, and I want to be that guy for the team. And, you know, the, it doesn't change my mindset going into the star, whether on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, you know, the, the plan and the goal is the same. But I, whether me, Perry, whoever it may be, I. I feel confident in all of us to, you know, set the tone.